Hey, I know the question you're asking. I'm kind of asking the same question myself. What in the heck is Mark Kaiser doing with a shotgun in his hand? Well, I'm here in New Mexico at the NRA Whittington Center, and I'm here with a group of 4-H shooting sports competitors who won this trip to this great shooting facility. And one of the things we're doing is shooting a little bit of traps, skeet, sporting clays, and those disciplines are perfect to hone your skills as a rifle hunter or even a muzzleloader or handgun hunter. The reason they help you is they help you perfect your skills on the running shot. Now, how can that be? Well, just consider this. That clay is a moving target and it's moving pretty fast. And you've got to make this shotgun match the speed of that clay as you swing out there, swing through it and pull the trigger. Now, if you're going to use shotgun skills in a rifle hunting scenario, you need to consider the two basic schools of thought in how to make a running or a flying shot. Now, I grew up in South Dakota and I shot a truckload or two of pheasants in my day. And the way I was taught, well, swing right through the target. Get on that bird, keep swinging right on through it past and pull the trigger when you get out in front of it. Works the same with the rifle. The other school of thought is to match the speed. So your pheasants out there, you just catch up that match the speed. Again, pull just a touch ahead and pull the trigger. Works the same way with deer. One of my best friends, he always says, never leave hair when you pull the trigger. I kind of tend to disagree because there are so many different variables that come into play. Speed of the deer, caliber you're shooting, the distance you're shooting, yeah, it is rocket science and it takes a mathematician to get all those equations figured out. You won't have time for that. You just got to get out and practice like this. Do a little trap shooting, have some of your buddies roll some tires down a hill and shoot at them with the rifle, that moving target. And between all of that, you might just have a shot at that big old white tail buck when he comes busting out of cover this fall. <sighs> Sounds like they're shooting up all my ammo. I'm going to get back to them so I can get a little more moving target practice before I head back to Wyoming. Oh.